Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title of this video, we are going to talk about the 25 Scentsy Bring Back My Bars for June 2021, so stay tuned. In this basket, I have all 25 of the new scents that Scentsy came out with for the Bring Back My Bar for June 2021. Now, before we get started, I want to explain a little bit about what Bring Back My Bar is. Now. Scentsy, just like every other wax candle company, they have a set amount of scents that they have at one time, and eventually they do get discontinued, which makes a lot of people sad. But twice a year, in January and in June, Scentsy decides to bring back 20 to 25 cents that people really loved. And you as the customers, us as consultants, anybody has the option to vote back for their favorites. And then the top 20 or 25 come back for one month only. Now don't be like, oh my god, one month, my favorite scent came back, I need to buy 100. If you want to buy 100, you can, but what I love is Scentsy Club. Any scents that come out that you love, you can add to your Scentsy Club. Now, it normally is a stressful time because there's so many good scents. I'll be perfectly honest, I'm not really fond of a lot of the scents in this Bring Back My Bar. Four. Easy four scents that I added to my Scentsy Club that come on a bi-monthly video. I just don't find a lot of these scents to be great. There's four that I'm still, eh, maybe I'll add them to my club. I want to melt them first. And then there's 17 of them that I'm like, eh, they're just whatever to me. They're not scents that I really, really care for. Or they're not club worthy, that's for sure. Like, I'll melt them, but I'm not super into it. And then, with Scentsy Club, it'll always come to you. So you can have one or two of these bars coming to you every month, every two months, or every three months. So your scent will always come to you. So without further ado, I have my scent list with the descriptions. I have my bars. Let's have a sniff session, shall we? Let's have a sniff session, shall we? There we go. Typically I say let's not go in any particular order, but I am going to start with a sense that I'm not too crazy about, sense that I'm just like, okay, it's fine, not adding it to my club, and we're going to start with Fresh Cut Daisies. Sensi says, a meadow awash in summer blooms, freshly cut grass and clover with daisies, buttercups, and ivy. It's just a watery white floral. It's very bright. It definitely is like springy and summery, but again, it's not something that I would ever find myself reaching towards. If you love florals, I do like florals, but I don't like daisies. I remember Yankee Candle had a scent years ago, Loves Me, Loves Me Not, and I will always say it is the worst Yankee Candle ever created. It smelled like a urinal cake. This does not smell like a urinal cake, but it still smells like daisies, which I'm not a fan of. Next is Strawberry Swirl. I was really excited about this one because I love strawberry scents. Not this one. This says, blissfully sweet and creamy, Strawberry Swirl whips together frozen strawberry, frothy milk, and vanilla. AKA like a strawberry milkshake. And that's what it smells like. If you remember from years ago, they had a scent strawberry taffy. This smells very similar. It definitely smells like an artificial strawberry scent. And I'm really not a super big fan of it. It's just, I love strawberry scents, don't get me wrong. But this just missed the mark for me. It definitely is like a very milky strawberry scent. Not a fan. Next, we have French Kiss. Now, French Kiss says, Sweet fig tenderly caressed by coconut pulp, exotic cedar, and caramel. This would be great without the coconut. And I can smell it. I love fig. I love a fig scent. The other fig scent is in my club. But you definitely get coconut, and I am not a coconut person by any means unless it's coconut cream pie or coconut bakery. But this is like figgy coconut. If you like coconut, by all means, I think you would really like this one. It's just, it's definitely more of a summery, fresh fig scent. Next, we have Coffee Tree. Now, if you watch Ramona Talk, who I adore, love my friend Ramona, she says exactly what I think about Coffee Tree. Sensi just doesn't know how to do coffee. 
This says, bold and sophisticated, wake up to the rich aroma of freshly roasted coffee beans. So this is claiming that there's just coffee. But it smells like coffee that's either stale or gone bad. Like cheap coffee that you get at the grocery store that you grind yourself. Like, not a fan. I definitely am going to mix this with like vanilla bean buttercream or something like that to cream it up so it's not just straight up coffee that I'm not a big fan of. But Sensi did not hit the mark on the coffee tree. Honeymoon Hideaway is the next one. I know this is like negative, 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 negative. We'll get into the good ones. I just want to get out of the bad ones. This one says, Escape to a secluded retreat of dew-kissed lily, tart sweet kiwi shaded by lush coconut palm. Again, don't like summer. Don't like tropical. Therefore, don't like this. This is a very green coconut scent. So if you are a fan of coconut, you're a fan of like more fresh fresh, like, green palm trees mixed with your coconut, you would really like this. I definitely think this is a scent, if you're going on a vacation, to melt this in, like, your hotel room where you're on the beach, because this definitely is a more reminiscent scent, and it could bring really great memories to really, you know, not a fan. <laughs> Next, Summer Soleil. Already knew by the name I would not like it because I don't like summer. How many times do I have to say I don't like summer? Pineapple and coconut milk top fluffy vanilla marshmallow. No cute descriptions, just how it is. And this bar, I have the hardest time getting out. Here we go. And I do like to pop out my bars. There we go. So you can get to the bottom. I'm not really getting much pineapple, which is why I'm not a fan. I love pineapple scents. But to me, this smells more like a sweet coconut. Like a marshmallowy coconut. Almost like the marshmallow coconut that you would get, like, candies. But I'm barely getting any pineapple. There's, like, no pineapple. Maybe when it melts, the more pineapple notes come out. But so far... I don't really get any pineapple, therefore, not a fan. Next is Ocean. Now, Ocean reads, Cool and refreshing aquatic notes deepened with water lilies and ocean breezes. And this is like a more, like, unisex, watery, perfumey cologne scent. You know how, like, a lot of men's colognes are aquatic, watery? This is like that. But with the lily, it lends more towards like a feminine, so it is more like a neutral cologne fragrance. But I'm also not a huge fan of it. Not in the masculinity sense. Next is Lemon Thyme Berry. And this one says, sparkling lemonade and strawberry sprinkled with crushed thyme. I thought I would like this. And I don't hate it, but the thyme note is definitely weird. If it was like a strawberry lemonade, it would be great, but you definitely get the different type of, like that herbal note towards the back, which definitely freaks me out a little bit. It's definitely not, it doesn't belong in the scent, I should say. It's just, it hits different. The only thing that I could think, like, this would be a good kitchen scent, because it does have more of that herbaceous type of note. Next, we have Lucky in Love. I like this scent. I definitely do. Sweet bouquet of mandarin, bergamot, and orange with hints of peaches and berries. It's Love Spell. If you've used Love Spell from Victoria's Secret, that is exactly what this smells like. A very perfumey berry scent. You could definitely tell this is like a body care fragrance, even if you didn't know what Love Spell was, because it has that body care-esque. Super pretty color, but again... Every girl in my school wore Love Spell when I was in school. So, Jet Set Go is the next one. And this one says, Jet off to a balmy tropical paradise of Brazilian orange, jungle papaya, and island vanilla. And this, again, is one of those creamy, fruity, tropical scents that I'm just not a fan of. I like papaya. I definitely do, but it seems like everything has to be blended with coconut, with Scentsy for summer, and I just don't like it. It's like, 
yeah. Again, not a big fan. Will not be going to my club. Don't like fruity, tropical, summery scents. Wild black cherry. I hate black cherry scents. Hate them, hate them, hate them. A sweet and juicy black cherry, just like old fashioned black cherry soda. It smells like cherry cough medicine. Just like I don't like black cherry Merlot from Bath and Body Works. I don't like wild black cherry. If you are a huge black cherry fan, you are going to love that scent because it smells just like a black cherry. Continuing with things that I don't like, blue hyacinth. This one, florals from heaven. Pure blue hyacinth is all about the flower power. It smells just like a blue hyacinth. Those big, bushy, blue, little hint of white flowers smells just like it. Powdery white floral. If you like powdery florals, you'll like this. If you go into your grandma's house and you're like, I want to smell like that in my house. Blue Hyacinth is definitely the winner. Mulberry Bush. I was excited about this one. It gave me a little bit of fall vibes. The notes on Mulberry Bush say, Sweet Mulberry accented by bittersweet orange peels. I don't like it. I don't like the, the mulberry and the orange mixed together. Kind of smells like an artificial, like berry bushy I don't even know like a plastic like if a doll was supposed to be scented like a berry it's kind of what this smells like I don't like that at all not a fan and I dropped my paper next we have Kahiko Hula again another summery scent Say aloha with exotic passion fruit, mango, and papaya. To me, how many times can you honestly blend so many fruits together before it's just called smoothie? And that's how I feel with a lot of these. It's like a fruity smoothie type of scent. And I'm not a big fan of fruity scents. And it's just because they're super undetectable. And I want to smell in the air. Oh my god, yes, I smell this. It just smells like fruity tropical. And it just reminds me of hot and how much I don't like to be hot. Candy Crave is the next one. Candy Crave is just the sweet stuff. Raspberry sorbet, cotton candy, and fluffy marshmallow. It smells like just sweet candy. Like, it doesn't smell like I, raspberry. Like, it smells like a cotton candy scent. I really want to smell that cotton candy cookie. I think I would really like that. But this just smells like cotton candy, like a blue cotton candy you would get at the circus. Then we have the two watermelon scents that are artificial and even more artificial. Watermelon Patch. Watermelon Patch says... Sweet vine ripened watermelon. Watermelon Jolly Rancher. 100%. Watermelon Jolly Rancher. That's exactly what this smells like. To a T, artificial watermelon. It's not that it's a bad scent, but I would love to smell a real watermelon scent, and not many people can do it. The next one is Watermelon Mint, and I am obsessed with the color on this. I love that it's a green label with a pink wax. And the notes on this one read... A slice, a chilled slice of sweet watermelon sprinkled with bracing fresh mint makes a refreshing summer treat. It, you also get that artificial watermelon, but you can get the fresh mint, like fresh mint leaves, not like peppermint or spearmint, like actual fresh mint leaves. So it's not bad. This bar is like really sweaty. Um, it's cold in here too, so I don't know why it's sweating like that. But, um, again, it's just a very, very artificial candied watermelon scent. So those were the scents that I'm like, let me just review these, get these out of here because I don't like them. Now we have eight that I really do enjoy. 
first on the list is Rockin' Ruby Raz. I was excited to hear about this one coming back. It says, kids birthday parties and punch bowls and presents piled high. This fruity blend of juicy orange, fresh strawberry, and sweet candy glaze is a child's best day, all wrapped up in one perfect fragrance. I really like raspberry scents. It is candy raspberry. It definitely is. Um, you can pick up on that strawberry, again, more artificial, more candy-like. However, in this set, I see it being, like, okay. I also think mixing this, maybe with strawberry swirl, would be kind of nice. So this is like a... I'm intrigued by this one. It definitely... I know this was part of the kids' collection. Two of these that brought back were actually part of the kids' collection. So... My nose is a little bit more, I like more um, complex fragrances, but I definitely want to melt this. This is a maybe in the club, so I want to melt this before the month is over to really see what I think about it, especially this next one, Spring Forward. I was not expecting the description and the scent to be what it is. So Spring Forward says, if sunshine had a scent, this burst of Italian bergamot, raspberry jam, and cedar wood. Really odd combination, but it really works. Now immediately, I smell cedar wood, which I was shocked. I just, Spring Forward, pink, was not expecting that at all. Um, Italian bergamot, bergamot's more like a, a, a tart, orange that's a little bit of a thicker skinned fruit and you can definitely pick up on it you can pick up on the cedar wood it's like this very earthy wood i'm not really getting a ton of raspberry jam hoping it comes out more when i melt it but this one's really interesting if it gives a really nice strong throw and lasts i'll add it to my club but so far this is a i'm very intrigued by it Next, we have white tea and cactus. Now, I love cactus scents. I love cactus blossom from Bath and Body Works. I love that, like, sweet scent that it causes. A clean, crisp, and refreshing floral mix with green notes. This is a very sweet, sweet scent. Like, it's very hard to describe kind of gives you like an aloe plant vibe cactus you know it's like a sweet watery this almost smells like you're hydrated when you smell it i know that sounds crazy but i let, i don't know what the throw is going to be on it that's why it's not in my club i haven't melted it yet but oh it's so good it's like a like i said it's like a like a sweet sweet scent it's really interesting I really like it. And white tea, I think, just adds that more hydrating element to the scent. Then we have Love Story. I melted this years ago. I don't remember melting it. Obviously, it's a long time ago. Innocent pink jasmine, sensual amber, and luscious dark chocolate. Now, the dark chocolate definitely comes out at the end, but... You wouldn't smell it to me like, yes, that's dark chocolate. But I remember this scent. I don't remember what it was like melting, but it's different. You definitely get the amber, and you get the chocolate. Pink jasmine, not necessarily. I mean, I don't know. It's very interesting. I like the added chocolate to it. Definitely going to melt this. Like I said, those four, the Spring Forward, White Cactus... Rockin' Ruby Raz and Love Story. These are four that I definitely are in my melting basket for the week that I want to try them to see what I think about them because I feel like I want to add them to my club. Now, onto the four scents. Immediately went into my club. Immediately knew I was going to love them. Let's start with My Wish. I remember My Wish from years ago. I remember loving it. Forgot totally about it until I saw the name and the description. My wish. A confection of earthy fig, sweet violet, and playful marshmallow will have you wishing for more. I love this scent. This is the only scent I've ever smelled in my life 
that truly smells like marshmallow. There's so many scents from candles to wax to body care that say they have marshmallow in them and it just adds this sweetness. It's almost like the fig makes the marshmallow more predominant and more noticeable in this scent. I don't know how that's a thing, but it's so good, you guys. And when you melt it, it's amazing. I love, love, love the scent. If you like fig scents and if you like sweet scents, you have to order this because you will not be disappointed. And like I said, it's like the fig adds a more sweetness that you can pick out the marshmallow in it. Crazy. Obsessed. Then Sweet Pea and Vanilla. This is another scent that I used to love back in the day and I'm so happy it's back and immediately went to my club. Ambiance of raspberries and sweet pea petals with vanilla. Does not smell like any sweet pea scent you've ever smelled. You get the raspberry and you get the vanilla and they're authentic raspberry. You get like the tartness, like your lips almost pucker when you smell it. And then the sweet pea, it makes sweet pea tolerable. You definitely can smell it. You definitely can smell it. But the, like I said, the vanilla and the raspberry, it's almost like a 33.3, 33.3, 33.3 ratio of all three that makes this scent delectable delightful and anybody who doesn't like florals would become a lover of this scent. I can guarantee it. Then we have Oodles of Orange. Ugh, the color, my favorite, favorite color in the world is orange. No, I will never go orange on my hair. I think it would look too wacky. Um, but, oh my gosh, Oodles of Orange. Kids will love this sweet, citrusy scent punched up by fresh pineapple, crisp papaya, mango blossom, and ripe bunches of tropical berries. I love how it doesn't even say there's orange in here. This is like citrus explosion. And I know I said I'm not a fan of tropical scents, and I'm not. Oranges you eat all year long. This smells like you walked into like a smoothie bar or anything that is like a fresh juicery and they just got finished juicing all the fresh fruit for the day and you know that they did oranges because the orange scent is so powerful and is still in the air oh i love this scent love this scent you guys and i'm excited to get more bars of this so i can start like mixing this with things. I honestly think this would be fun mixed with my wish. Like a figgy orange sweet scent. I'm excited to mess around. <laughs> now I'm having fun. I'm excited to mess around with these and see what they are. Now, this scent. <laughs> I don't even want to say you either love it or you hate it. You either love it or you're wrong. <laughs> Palo Santo. I am so excited. I had no idea Sensi ever had a Palo Santo scent. I feel like Palo Santo is blowing up in the world of fragrance now. It used to be like mahogany teak wood, and then we had, you know, this and that. Palo Santo is its moment. It's its rising star. At Bath & Body Works, the candles always sold out. The vendor wax world, you can mix this with anything. You can mix Palo Santo with Palo Santo, and it would be amazing. Palo Santo. Charred cedar bark and teak are the ultimate dreamboat blend. You guys. The second I smelled this, I fell in love with it. Just like I fell in love with every single scent Palo Santo. And I mean, you can blend Palo Santo with everything. To me, I'm going to paint you a picture. Call me Sophia Petrillo. This smells like you walked into a very sexy man's house. And he has a lot of wood furniture. Brand new wood furniture. He has a cleaning crew that comes every week, so he doesn't clean. They use this very fancy wood polish. And it just smells perfect in there. It smells like wood, but it doesn't smell like Home Depot. It smells fancy, like Restoration Hardware. That's what this smells like. If you have company coming over, and you want to smell like you have a lot of money... This is the scent you want to melt. It's so good. It's so relaxing. Palo Santo, you could do research on it. It's an amazing, amazing plant or uh, wood itself. The way it grows, its healing properties. This bar does not do any healing. Let me just announce that right now. This bar 
does not heal you. However, it definitely is an amazing sleeping scent. Mix it with everything, and I mean everything from strawberries to florals to, f to any fruit to bakery. Sweet Plum Pastry and Palo Santo, it's heaven in a, it's heaven in a bar. But I don't want to melt any more of this until I have at least six backups. I'm getting three a month in my club. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. And that's all I have to say about Palo Santo. So, Palo Santo, My Wish, Oodles of Orange, and Sweet Pea and Vanilla are definitely my top four. Let me know if you guys are interested. You can actually buy this entire bundle for, I believe it's $126. I'll link the bundle down below. I'll link my Sensi website down below. My VIP group, definitely join. Lots of exciting things new with Sensi. Let me know if you guys have tried to bring back my bars. Which ones are your favorites? Which ones did you definitely steer clear of? Have a conversation down below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great June.